All right, hello and welcome to Moving Dirt. One of the things you do a lot of while trail building, um, but there are some techniques to it. Some things that you can do that will make your life easier and uh, quicker, which I feel like, you know, the easier it is, the more you can build, the quicker it is, the more you can build. It's win-win, baby. <laughs> looking at a dog but then we're also looking at this just this little booter that I got going here just to add a little joy what we need to do is we need to fill that with dirt we need to fill it with rock and dirt there is some rock here not a ton um, so what I want to do is I want to fill this in with as much rock as possible and then following that I want to fill it in with dirt but how do you get dirt where does the dirt come from it's a good question and it's uh, you know something that you gotta be kind of regularly asking yourself. In this case, right where the dog is standing, there is a nice mound there. There's no trees. Yes, there are some roots below. There will be some collateral damage, but we're not gonna go too close to them. But basically all of this dirt here where the dog is standing here, we're gonna move into here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this all out of the leaves and I'm gonna use my hoe. going to take this stuff and I'm going to throw it uphill so that I can drag it down later to make it more naturalized after I'm done. So now I've pulled back the leaves off of this dirt and I'm looking at the pile of dirt that I want to take. All right, you got three options when you're moving dirt, uh, at least by hand. And I think the most obvious one is the wheelbarrow. That's what a lot of people use when they're moving dirt outside of trail building. And it's certainly something that they use a lot when you're doing dirt jumps or you're doing big builds um, in an area that's easily accessible. Most of the trail building that I do, and I'm sure a lot of trail building that a lot of other people do, a wheelbarrow, bringing in a wheelbarrow isn't really that uh, easy. It's a bit of a pain in the ass from a logistical perspective. And then you've got to worry about things like, well, where are you going to keep it? Is someone going to steal it? Do I need to lock it up? It also attracts a lot of attention. So if you're trying to be discreet, a wheelbarrow, a wheelbarrow sitting in the woods, perhaps not the best way to go about moving dirt. So there are two other options. These are the options I use all the time. All right. So those options are the bucket and the tarp. I started with the bucket. I have a soft spot in my heart for the bucket. It's a fine move, dirt moving tool. Not my favorite now though. My go-to is the tarp. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But the reason that the bucket is so nice is that it's kind of like a mini wheelbarrow. Um, it's easy for you to carry around, easier than the wheelbarrow. They are um, cheap and cheerful uh, and they move a lot of dirt, so you can fill up a couple of buckets and, you know, walk kind of far and you could move the dirt in here. And if you were to do that, it would be totally fine. I think most people would think you're filling a bucket with a shovel, but if you're uh, sort of clever, you can do that with the hoe. All right, so let's show you how this is done. You just basically direct the dirt into the bucket, which is located between your feet. It doesn't take that long. It's pretty quick. So that's the bucket. Again, the bucket's not bad. But again, I prefer the tarp. So the tarp is a very easy way of moving dirt. You take the tarp, and get it into a decent shape. In this case, about four by six. And then you want this at the folded edge, if you have one, to be on the side that's facing the dirt. Otherwise, if you have it this way, the dirt will get trapped in between the two layers, which you don't really want. And then what you do is you stand on the edge and you just start. You don't want to put too much dirt on the tarp, otherwise, It'll be seriously hard to drag. You don't want that. 
The whole point of the tarp is to make things easier. And you grab it by one end, and you walk it right to the edge of where you want it to go. So just like this, then you grab the other end here, two sides if you need to. And you just pull it like this. And boom. You lay the tarp back down. Again, remembering about leaving the uh, closed edge at your feet and you just start her up again. And so you can see two tarp fulls and it's already filling in nicely. It will take me much less time, much less effort using the tarp versus the bucket. And again, I'm not dragging a wheelbarrow in the middle of the woods. Yeah, so once you've extracted all the dirt that you need, it's basically time to cover up. What we don't want to do, we don't want to leave it looking like this, because this is pretty fugly. We threw our um, raked stuff up at the top, so we should be able just to come up here with our hands, pull all this down. So we've restored that pile to look more natural. You can see it's looking pretty blended in. Here's the little booter that we built. You can see again, we blended it in here. But I don't know how many tarp loads of dirt this was, but it didn't take very long. And now we can go down and start working on the next section. Yay, jumps. So, there you go. Uh, that is how I move dirt with a bucket and a tarp. Again, my preference is the tarp, tarp for the win. But if you move dirt in a different way, please let me know. I would love to learn. I hope you learned something here today. And as always, uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the comments and see you on the trails. Mm -hmm.